Hey guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about the gut and brain connection and how the limbic system and brain retraining is crucial to healing mystery gut issues. So how many of us have struggled with mystery digestive issues? Um, abdominal pain, bloating, any kind of stomach upsets, digestive upsets, acid reflux, nausea, vomiting, appetite changes, weight gain or loss, difficulty with digestion or, or pain, fatigue, fever, malabsorption, issues with minerals or vitamin issues or infections, maybe um, C. diff or anything of those natures. If you've been diagnosed with Crohn's or IBS or colitis, all of these things are going to be related to our digestive system. In the enteric nervous system, is a major integral part of our digestion. So the enteric nervous system is composed of neurons and neurochemicals. This is located within our gastrointestinal tract, and it plays a key role in our digestion, absorption, and the way that food moves through our body and how we absorb our nutrients from our food. And it works very closely with our autonomic nervous system and limbic system to regulate homeostasis and how our health is overall. So this is going to be really key in healing and how many of us have been diagnosed either from a Western medicine perspective with IBS, Crohn's, colitis, or from more of this naturopathic world where there seems to be a huge influx of people getting diagnosed with SIBO and candida um, and being put on these huge um, protocols of very restrictive diets and endless supplements when really is the root cause limbic system and enteric nervous system imbalance caused by trauma, by infection, by anything that has damaged the nervous system and kept it locked into a fight or flight hypervigilant state, which literally is keeping our entire digestive system stuck in a hypervigilant state and leading to symptoms of illness. The enteric nervous system is responsible for the coordination of all our physiological processes in the GI tract. And it's going to integrate information from the central and autonomic nervous system as far as our digestion. So when we think about this from a brain retraining perspective, we know that we are either in sympathetic, which is fight or flight mode, or parasympathetic, which is often referred to as rest and digest mode. And that's because when we are in a state of hypervigilance and fight or flight, we really are not able to digest effectively because all of our neurochemicals, every part of our body, our adrenaline is pumping and it is telling us you need to shut down all non-essential functions and just focus on survival right now. And so we get stuck in this hypervigilant panicked state over time, meaning that we are not shifting any of our energy to healthy digestion. Our blood flow just isn't there. That's why sometimes when people engage in something like meditation and mindfulness, they find themselves yawning, burpling, burping, their stomach starts to gurgle. And it's because as soon as you unlock and shift to parasympathetic and rest and digest mode, it signals to your body, oh, we must be safe. It must be okay for me to focus on digestion. And the enteric nervous system is able to work the way it's supposed to, which it can't when we are in a hypervigilant state, fight or flight mode. The enteric nervous system is also involved in the regulation of our immune responses and the modulation of pain and inflammation. And so we really need to have a better understanding of how this affects us and our ability to heal. Sometimes people call the enteric nervous system the second brain because it is capable of operating independently of our brain and central nervous system. And it's responsible a lot for intuition um, and these like gut feelings or I felt it in my gut or this butterflies in the stomach feeling. And the limbic system, as we know, is a set of structures in the brain that are involved with emotion, motivation, and memory. So that controls the emotional response, but also more complex things like trust, fear, anxiety. And when we look at the connection between these two, we realize the role that trauma plays in disconnecting our mind from our body, maybe as like more of a dissociation response. And we have to think about a lot of these chronic health conditions that are actually due to trauma and limbic system imbalance. So understanding this enteric nervous system and realizing that medical issues that are linked to a nervous system imbalance might be more healed through shifting ourselves into states where we feel safe through mindfulness, through visualization, through limbic system healing and brain rewiring training 
rather than endless supplements and meeting with naturopaths and trying restrictive diets. So how many of us have tried these things and not seen any real change or not seen it actually improve or maybe even we felt worse when we tried these things? And how much of it is because we are basically chasing our tails trying to figure out oh, it has to be my actual gut health and the microbiome and the microflora. And yes, that's important. And yes, it is 100% possible. Sorry, my horse is really excited about this that I'm talking. Um, if you heard that noise. Um, it is 100% possible that you can have bacterial overgrowth or imbalances. And sometimes you do need supplements for that. But I have talked with so many people who feel like they are just chasing down the rabbit hole one restrictive diet after another, one supplement after another. If we are not addressing the limbic system and nervous system and our sense of safety versus our sense of feeling like we're always going to be sick and then getting locked into a fearful response and a state of chronic stress that worsens these symptoms, we're going to keep getting sick and coming back to these symptoms and getting locked into a pattern of illness. They've done studies which have shown that whether it's Crohn's, colitis, IBS, patients respond to cognitive behavior therapy, they respond to yoga programs and mindfulness programs. In these studies, those interventions are effective. And some doctors will oversimplify that and they're going to say, no, 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 that means it's all in your head, we were right, no, <laughs> that's not the case. However, what that does show us is there is a connection. There's a connection between stress response. There's a connection between our mindset, our thoughts, the way that our nervous system is able to regulate itself, and then how that translates into our enteric nervous system, into our ability to feel safe enough that we can shift into a digestive mode, into a mode of safety and regeneration and healing so that we're not locked in fight or flight all the time. That's the purpose of limbic system healing. That's the purpose of me creating my program that focuses on limbic system healing. That's the, po the whole purpose of when I post these visualizations and these scripts and these meditations that shift us into a healing state. When we can consistently be in that healing state and we're working every day on creating a reset of our limbic system, we shift our baseline to a place where we can finally heal. So I hope that was helpful today. I hope that helped us to gain a little bit of insight into what the limbic system really is and how it factors into something as simple but also as complex as our digestion, explaining a little bit about the enteric nervous system and that we do have this second brain that's located in our gut, and to explore this gut health phenomenon that seems to be on everyone's minds and everyone's always talking about it, but everyone has such different ways of approaching it. And also just hearing over and over from people who have tried everything, every supplement, every diet, every specialist, all of this testing, they have a list of 50 different microorganisms and microbiomes that, that seem to be off, you know, within their system. And they think, well, I have to address each one of them. What if it really is as simple as healing the nervous system in general to create a foundation and a space where we can heal so that our body can regenerate and take care of itself? It can't do it if we're constantly activated in fight or flight mode. So how are we working on shifting our entire baseline to a restful healing limbic system state that we can actually have true abundance, true vibrance, and true health. I hope you guys have an awesome day full of healing. Thank you for clicking and subscribe if you are able to so you'll get notices. Hit the notification button whenever I post a new video, you'll be aware of it. If you're interested in my limbic system healing program, I'll have a link down in the description below. You can click and learn more about that. You can sign up for a free preview or you can sign up for the course. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'll talk to you soon.